Welcome to the Specialty Products Company installation video for the SBC part number 71600 Toyota Sienna rear camber and tow shim. These full contact shims correct camber and or tow on both all wheel and front wheel drive Toyota Siennas. Combination adjustments or changes up to one degree may be made by stacking up to two shims per side. Always follow proper safety precautions associated with all the equipment used in this video. Read the installation instructions thoroughly. Vehicles with disc brakes may require spacer kit SPC part number 75970 to be installed to align brake caliper and rotor. Failure to do so could result in damage to brake components and or rotor lockup. Take initial alignment readings and determine the amount of tow and camber change needed. Raise vehicle and remove tire and wheel assembly. Remove brake caliper and put aside so brake line will not be damaged. Remove caliper bracket then remove rotor. Remove four bolts holding hub and backing plate to axle. On all-wheel drive models, remove center nut holding axle shaft to wheel bearing. Remove hub and pull backing plate away from the axle to allow shims to be inserted. Clean all surfaces. Insert shim between axle and hub backing plate. For toe change. The shim part number is stamped on the thickest part of the shim. To achieve negative toe, or toe out, position the part number towards the front of the vehicle. For positive toe, toe in, the part number should be positioned towards the rear of the vehicle. For camber change, the word camber is marked on the thinnest part of the shim. For positive camber change, Install the shim with the camber marking at the bottom. For negative camber change, install the shim with the camber marking at the top. Two shims may be stacked if both toe and camber changes are required, or for greater amounts of either. With shims in place, reassemble. Torque hub bolts to factory specifications working up to proper torque and a star pattern. On all-wheel drive vehicles, reinstall axle nut and torque to factory specifications. Reinstall brake rotor. If vehicle is equipped with disc brakes, confirm the caliper and rotor are aligned. If necessary, use SPC part number 75970 spacers to correct misalignment. Install tire and verify alignment change. Road test the vehicle. 